Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery! In the last one, Merula was certain that she definitely wanted to duel her again because she feels like she has to prove something or something. And with that we actually have to go practice with Penny, which we are now able to do. And as far as I know, the sound effects now actually works again. I don't know what happened in the two last episodes, but for some reason the sound... Uh, effects uh, the the music was there, but the sounds weren't. We was <laughs> was really weird, um, and I didn't realize that until editing, unfortunately. Anywho, let's continue on and go and try and beat Penny because I'm actually not sure of her battling, like how she will duel you, if she will be defensive, aggressive, or triggery, or she will just be. Hmm, that's actually going to be interesting to find out, really. So we just have to go there and see. Um, is it just Penny here or is Jane like hiding somewhere going, hey, hey that is my Hufflepuff girls. <laughs> I don't know. So let's see here. What do you have to say, Penny? Thanks for offering to help me train for the duel with Marula, Penny. You really don't have to do this. <laughs> it is my pleasure, Ray. Eh? I always wanted to learn how to duel, and I want Marula to get what she deserves. Well, yeah, w well, I don't know if she's really that bad. Like, to be honest, I don't really know if she's really that bad because we only see her in interactions with us. We only know she's been mean to Ben, which is okay, she needs to be put in her place because that's not okay. He might be a muggle, doesn't matter. He's magical, like, just like her. We're all equal. And for some reason, I sound like Talloway. <laughs> Anywho, um, still on high energy, that's for sure. <laughs> Even though it's days apart in recording. <laughs> well, if you are half as good at dueling as you are at potions, I'm in trouble. Go easy on me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she should not go easy on you because you know what? Marula is not gonna. So, or are you just not really worried about it? Maybe she's not worried about it at all. So, uh. Hmm. Only 10, 10, and 9. Well, I think we will do well in this battle. <laughs> I don't know why, I just. Have a feeling with the entropy points that we have. <laughs> oh yeah, we can also go and level up her friendship to the max as well. I still don't know why I didn't get an item last time. I still haven't re I haven't still not gotten it, or it hadn't been notified, and I can't see which item it is. Maybe I should go check that after this one and be sure that I'm not being cheated out of an item, even though I completed stuff. Meh. Anywho, let's start our battle. So. What should we expect her to be? Uh, my intuition says that she is aggressive. So if we play defenses, so then oh, she's triggery. I see, I see. Oh, she throws a. Is it a potion or a cupstone? <laughs> okay, so if she is triggery. Then hopefully she stays triggery. She did! Okay, good. I didn't know Penny was that sneaky. That's for sure. So, medium reduction of Napoleon's stamina. And chance of a small stun. Yeah, of course we have to use Expelliarmus because with us only being second year, we are kind of limited with, um, <laughs> you know, spells. Uh, so, Expelliarmus, uh, which is quite a, an easy one. I tell you, the pumpkin one in triggery is really like difficult especially if you screen 32 are you kidding me <laughs> oh my goodness i'm sorry penny i killed you there um that has many swirls and such and if your screen isn't always um responding well then um that one is a tricky one to do anyway nice work penny you put up a good fight you know we kind of oh i killed you really bad <laughs> Because we had too many, uh, too high entropy points for you. I'm, I'm sorry about that. 
You are already an excellent dueler. Yeah, because I actually thought her. W I actually thought she would either be um, aggressive or, or or defensive. That's why I went with defense. But she was triggery, which was surprising to me. So that 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 that's something you learn, I guess. Thanks, Lee. I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah, you probably did. Anyway, do you have a plan of how you will beat Marula this time? Uh, don't get hit. <laughs> like, I won't attack her first because that will get us in trouble. Obviously. Uh, distract her could be a funny one because then it kind of, uh, you know... Use the pumpkin! Use the pumpkin! I really want to use the pumpkin. Can you hear guys hear that? I really want to use that pumpkin. <laughs> anyway. Um, but a, a good way to win a fight is to not get hit. Basically. <laughs> Because distracting her, if we if we're talking before the duel, distracting her would just like push the fight or the duel the fight, push it, the duel further. Attacking first will get us into problems. So don't get hit. Really not, not really. I'm just going to do my best not to die. <laughs> well that. That sounds like a sounds like a good plan, right there. Well, good luck, Ray. We all be behind you. Yeah, because then you won't get hurt. That's for sure. <laughs> so, I'm guessing we have to wait a bit. Yeah, we do actually have to wait a bit before we can defeat Marula, which is um, I I really just hope that we go directly into. Uh, Oh, it's a tonight we duel bright after dark. No witnesses. So how can people be standing behind us? Maybe morally then. But I had really, really hoped that we could just go and battle her instantly. But that means instead of that, we will just go and check on Niffler and the Pollock. I guess that, that would be that. Because they're ready to be feeded and bonded. And maybe, just maybe we will have... Nifla's affection, finally! Because this little fella is so adorable. I would love if there was plushies of him, or I could somehow or somewhere get a plushie off of Nifla. Because that, that, that would just be amazing. <laughs> so let's go to the grasslands. And we have plenty of food to give them, because I did a lot of classes in this um, house event. Or house points event, which does seem like we're gonna win. Uh, <laughs> But there's three hours, you never know, like, you you never know if they're gonna then take the lead just in the last second or so, you never know, um, to be honest. I think, I, I don't think everyone knows for sure, but I think there's a lot more intensity or interest in winning uh, the house pride point events if there was a pet or a pet skin. Not a clothing option, and I think I've dwelled on that before. I do think I've dwelled on that before, to be honest. So, um... Hello, little Niffler! First we'll bond with you and see how we go. Hello! What, why didn't it... Oh, okay. It's just a bit slower, it's like, why is nothing happening? Oh, it's still indifferent! Wait, is the Pollock like, easier to please than the, than the Niffler? Ooh, Jim! I will not say no to a Jim. Thank you, Niffler. That was really nice of you. But... Man... That means that the Niffler is actually quite a challenge to... To get affectionate to... For... Or to watch you, rather. Because... Goodness. <laughs> it's gonna take some time, that's for sure. So, we will almost be indifferent more. So I'm guessing the next part is trusting. Like with the Pollock. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but there'll still be some time before we can do that, though. Okay, okay. Then we'll just go and say hey to the Pollock. Hello, little fella. And we'll bond with you a bit. It's funnier to actually bond with them. Um, because you just get... It's kind of like a freebie, if you, would, if you could say it like that. It's just kind of like a freebie. And of course we can feed them, and then we will of course give him free. He, I don't know if it's a he or she though, because they don't really say specify gender, but maybe they're genderless, which is fine as well. 
Maybe I should actually research into that. That could be interesting to know. Oh, trusting too. So it's getting more and more happy. Will it follow us around? Oh, books. Nice. That means we may be soon. Oh, we actually have enough. Why do I have so many books? Oh, yeah. I did have a purchase by accident. Thank you for that, Boris. <laughs> I should just... Like, here's the story. And it, something similar has happened before when Cass was still alive. I left my tablet on my couch and just went out to get something to drink or a glass of water, rather, and came back into the room and not I didn't hear the the playing or anything because the purchase had gone through and I have auto purchase on most times when I actually play the game because I check new I, do, I actually do go to the game store every day or the, the app store every day just to see if there are any new games and then try them out um, so I usually have very much auto purchase constantly on my on my tablet the issue is then that my screen is apparently a little weird sometimes and <laughs> it reacts to kitten paws as well um, so yeah this time around when I got back to the couch Boris was actually laying on the tablet I was gonna like uh, move him away from it and then check if anything was of course like <laughs> if he had broken it but no and the only thing I saw that was different when I looked at the game was that <laughs> Um, there was a offer that would have expired within a couple of days that suddenly wasn't there anymore. And then I realized that he had probably purchased. And I actually got confirmed this, uh, I think it was today, because I was looking through emails. And you usually get an email from the App Store um, when there are purchases done. So that was an interesting thing. But it still don't... I, I, I still don't... Um, I just can't make it fit it being that many uh, books, though. Oh, we can go and uh, acquaintance the ferry. I was about to say the, the bow truck or trunk, truckle. What was his name again? I'm learning with you. Okay, it was bow truckle, yeah. Because you have to be a magic zoologist. Magic zoologist, that's a long name. Little three to unlock this little feller. But we should have enough to unlock the ferry then. Yeah, it was only 30, so sure, let's do that. Of course. Oh yeah, that was also... That makes sense, because there was... Uh, some luck in in the... I've actually gotten quite far in the... I was, I was kind of like... I was like, but Boris didn't buy that much. It was only like like five books or something off or something so I was like where did the rest come from and then I realized oh yeah I actually pre went pretty far in this event because I've just been this is basically the game I've been playing the last couple of days to just um, relax my head a bit um, after writing a whole day it's really easy to just chill out and say that that's good any here Let's bond with the little girly. I'm assuming she's a girl. I know assumption is many things, but... I don't know. The, the facial structure, at least, seems female to me. And the hair <laughs> is up in a bun. <laughs> I don't know, you can't really stereotype things like that anymore. But do, do we have a uh, explanation? It's just an it. So, um... Oh, we can name her! Emma, it, or whatever. So we can actually choose the gender of him. Which is interesting. Or just go with it non-binary as well. You could do that. Because they just say it is more human or creature known for its vanity. So, they haven't gender specified it at all. So that's fine if they, if they leave it a bit obscure. I like that. Because then it's up to the player to choose what gender does these people or these creatures have. And if so, do we give them a gender or leave them non-binary? That's up to you. Or any of the other in between, actually. It's all free for you to decide. It's so nice. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you're hungry, so 
Do you want anything? Can she even eat that? Isn't that too big for her? Uh, apparently not. She was hungry. <laughs> she was definitely hungry. You keep saying she, so she's probably a she in my head. So, um, yeah. She was definitely hungry. That was good we came by and said hey to her. But with that, I actually think we'll be ending off here. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.